Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Jude from Happiness and Crafting So today I thought we would make some little dangles Now last week we made the little beads here So I have been making lots of little dangles, so I've got a few left So I thought I'd show you um, how I do it, it's really really simple Now these ones I have got some of them hanging off little bulb pins um, Well these are bulb pins, you can call them gird pins or clothes pins um, There's all sorts of different names um, for them. The things that I'm using here, like all these little um, bead caps as well, I have got a link in the Amazon in my Amazon storefront so there will be a link down below under the video just so you can see um, what I've been using. Um, so on here I've also added them to some paper clips as well just on the end just for a little bit of decoration so I've made lots and lots here and I think they are lovely so I hope you can see I will put a close-up on the end of the video um, so you can have a little look a little close-up of what they look like I've also used some seed beads in there as well um, so what I'm going to use I'm going to use um, these little flat head pins now these you can find these under jewelry findings um, either in your shop or on Amazon um, I've got silver ones and I have black ones these are two inches long um, I also have these ones which are beautiful and they've got a lovely ornate end to them um, instead of having the little flat end like these ones they've got the lovely ornate end and I think they are so so pretty I think I've done a couple with them on here somewhere let's have a look there's one here look so it's got like the little ornate end to it I think it looks really really pretty so um, that's that one so there's three different different ones so these are two inches I do have some here which are one inch which are the same flat head ones um, but I don't have very many and I have lots of these um, so what I'm doing, I'm actually making two dangles out of one of these So I'm going to show you how we do that So I'm going to take one of the pins, flat head pins I've got some little silver beads here So I'm just going to pop a little silver bead on the bottom I'm going to pop one of these little bead caps on there Now you need the tiny, tiny ones um, Because the, these beads aren't very big, big that I made and they just sit on top of the bead like that um, and I think it just finishes them off and makes them look really really pretty um, so that f pops on there so I'm going to put a silver bead um, the bead cap the bead another bead cap and then another little silver bead on the top and that's it that's how quick it is so what I'm going to do I'm just going to cut the end here so they're sort of almost in half and then I'm going to just make a little loop at the end like that just to hang it off so we just twist that round and make yourself a little loop so there we go a lovely little bead so that's really simple and then the other piece of wire I'm just going to make another little loop in the end like that so make your little loop I'm going to hold on to that. We take a little silver bead on there. Now I've got some um, seed beads here, so I'm going to use these lovely blue ones because um, I think they will go really well. So that's a little one on here. I'm going to just use let's use this lovely blue bead here, um, and then another seed bead, and then another little silver bead on there. So doesn't that look lovely? Well, that might be a little bit too long. But let's see, we can have a bigger loop in this one. So there, so then we've got another little dingly dangly there. So I think that's so pretty and so simple. So we'll use one of these. Now actually, maybe we'll use one of these little ornate ones. So what we will do, let's find another bead. Let's pop the little green one on there. So I think that looks really nice. We could probably put a little bead cap on top as well. Like that. And then we'll have a little seed bead on there. So I think that looks really nice. So let's just cut that down. Like that. Oops. And then we pop a little loop in the top. 
like that. Oops. And then there we go, another little dangle. So, so lovely. Now I think that piece of wire just pings off out of the way. So, oh no, there it is. Oops, now I've flinged it on the floor. Never mind, let's use another one. That one's disappeared. So let's make another one. So let's have a little silver bead on the bottom. I think they look nice with a silver bead on the bottom. Um, I think it just sort of like adds a nice little thing to it. We have a little bead cap and then we'll take another little bead, pop a nice green one on there. Little bead cap. Now I don't um, match the bead caps up. You can if you like, but I don't think it really matters. Then we'll have another little silver bead on there. And there we go. Chop this off. Let's make sure this piece doesn't ping somewhere. There we go. Another little loop in there like that. And Let's just make one more with this last little piece of wire. Let's pop a little loop in there. And we will have a little silver bead. And there, I've got a couple of other little sort of beads in this little pot as well. So you can use whatever beads you like. This one's nice, it sort of almost reminds me of like a little shell. Um, Let's have a nice blue bead, another little shell type of bead, a little silver bead Oops. on there and then we'll just make another little loop in the top and there we go, perfect. So we have got lots and lots of lovely ones, I will be finishing them up because I'm going to use them all, well I'm going to make them all. So let me just show you. So that's on a paper clip and then we're going to pop them into little dingly danglies. I will pop them on other things, probably inside to the um, Oceanic Adventure Journal as well. Um, but I think they are looking really, really lovely. So there we go guys, that's how simple it is. Um, if you've got normal wire, you can just use normal wire if you've got it and just make a little loop in each end like that. Um, so lots of different ways to do it but this is how I've done it um, I'll pop a close up at the end of the video so there we are guys thank you so much for joining me um, I hope you're safe and well um, and take care of your, taking care of yourselves and everybody else um, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time alright guys bye bye